If your YouTube channel isn't set up properly, then it's gonna be really hard for people to not only discover your channel, but also subscribe to your channel. Your YouTube channel is like a storefront. So even if you're starting with an audience of zero, your YouTube channel should, number one, look and feel like you as a creator have a purpose for this channel. And number two, it needs to convey the kind of content that your viewers can expect if they subscribe to your channel. So today I'll be doing a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create and set up a YouTube channel. I'll be walking you through this process in five parts. So if you want to skip around, I've left the timestamps for the different sections in the first comment underneath this video. All right, let's get started. First thing we need to do is set up our YouTube channel. In order to do that, we need either a Google account or a Gmail account. Now, before we proceed to the screen share, I do want to point out that there are two different types of YouTube accounts that you can have. You can have either a personal YouTube account or a brand YouTube account. In this specific tutorial, I'm actually gonna walk you through the setup of your channel using a personal YouTube account. But the way that you set up your channel, the way that you optimize it, the way that you personalize it, and everything I'm gonna be going over in this video is exactly the same regardless of the type of account that you have. So if you wanna learn how to create a YouTube brand account or why you might need one, go ahead and check the link in the description underneath this video for that tutorial on how to create a YouTube brand account. All right, let's proceed. So let's sign into YouTube. You wanna to go to youtube.com and then in the top right corner, you're gonna hit sign in and it'll take you to this Google account screen. You could select the Google account that you wanna log in with or you can click on use another account. And this is where you can actually create a Google account if you don't have one already. It'll take you through the prompt of putting in your first name and your last name and stuff like that. I already have a test email set up, so I'm going to put that in. And then of course, type in your password. All right, so now I'm logged into YouTube and the way that you could tell is that in the top right corner, instead of seeing sign in, you now see a profile icon. And if you click on that profile icon, you'll always be able to tell which Gmail account or Google account that you're logged into YouTube with because it'll display right here. So now that we have a YouTube account, we actually still need to go and create a channel. So after you click on your profile icon, you're going to hover down to your channel and go ahead and click that. I'm gonna put in Heather Ramirez, that's, that's fine, that's what I wanna name my channel, and then go ahead and click Create Channel. And ta-da, here's our brand new, very blank YouTube channel. So the second step of this process is to verify our YouTube account. And the way that we can do that is by going to the YouTube studio. So you can click on this blue button here called YouTube studio, or you can hover over the profile icon and then go to YouTube studio here. There's just different ways that you can get to your YouTube studio, but the YouTube studio is where you're gonna be doing a lot of the back end management of your channel. So uploading videos, checking your analytics, managing comments, stuff like that. So you wanna know how to get there obviously because you'll be spending a lot of time here. But to verify our account, we're going to hover down to other features and then we're gonna scroll down to status and features. Now this will open up another window and you'll see here towards the top, this blue check mark box that says verify. We wanna verify our account because that will let us unlock these other status and features that we're currently ineligible for. And that means we can't enable them, especially custom thumbnails. That's a big one that we definitely wanna have enabled from the get go. So to verify our account, we're gonna click on verify. And basically the way that the account is going to be verified is that you're either gonna get a call from Google or YouTube or a text. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a text. I'm gonna put in my phone number, uh -huh. cool. And then submit. Of course, make sure to have your phone ready and wait for the six digit verification code. All right, and then we're gonna hit submit. And congratulations, your YouTube account is now verified. So we're gonna hit continue. And now you can see custom thumbnails and external annotations are enabled, which is great. That just automatically enables after you verify your account. Okay, so now for step three, let's customize some settings. We're gonna go back to our YouTube studio by clicking return to YouTube studio in the top right. Actually, we're gonna go to our YouTube channel. So. The way that you get to your YouTube channel from your YouTube studio is you're gonna click on your profile icon and then you'll see your channel right here. So you can click on that. 
And that'll take you to your channel. And then we're going to want to click on customize channel. And that will allow us to personalize our YouTube channel by adding channel art, by changing our icon, inserting a description, stuff like that, which we will do in the next step. But for now, we wanna customize some settings. So there's a wheel icon right next to your subscribe button. Go ahead and click that and it'll open up these channel settings. And you can go through each of these step-by-step, step, but the, the ones that I wanna highlight for you are these first three. So by default, uh, YouTube sets all your liked videos as private, all your subscriptions as private, and uh, all of your saved playlists as private. Now, I recommend that when you're setting up your YouTube channel, you actually turn these off so that your subscriptions could be public and your playlist could be public. Now, I wanna be able to show my viewers the content that I watch. I think it's really cool for them to see like, hey, yeah, I use YouTube just like you do. I watch YouTube videos, but I like a lot of YouTube videos in that I watch a lot and I thumbs up a lot of videos. So for them to see all the videos that I like, I think is overkill, but that's where I think that being able to see the channels that I'm subscribed to is kind of that happy medium where they don't have to see every single video that I like, but they can see the channels that I subscribe to, which is why I leave this public. And then also saved playlists. You definitely want to have these as this as public. I think this is honestly a must because on your homepage, like kind of behind this menu right here, you can customize and curate playlists to kind of walk your viewers through your own content. And you wouldn't be able to do that if your playlists were all private. So if you uncheck this, all of your playlists will be public by default, but you could totally go into each playlist and you know set individual ones as private as well. So that's why I just like to have these two off. And you definitely want to make sure that customized layout of your channel is on. That will allow us to you know put the channel banner, curate the playlist, and stuff like that. Now, when you make changes, obviously you're going to want to hit save. And now we are good to go with the settings. The other thing I want to show you, which I won't walk you through right now, but when you're done setting up your YouTube channel, go ahead and kind of explore the other options. Uh, hover over the profile icon and then go back to your YouTube studio. And then there's the settings menu down here. You wanna kind of walk through all of these. There's nothing that I want to necessarily draw your attention to, um, but just walk through all of these just to you know, if you feel like you want to change anything, you can and you know where it is. Uh, you also want to walk through these these other features to kind of just, you know, if there is something that you want to play around with, you know where it is and you can do it. But with that said, let's move on to the next step, which is branding. So go back to our channel by clicking on the profile icon and then clicking on your channel. That'll take you back to the channel. So again, we want to hit this blue button, customize channel, which will allow us to have a channel banner and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna be doing in the branding step. We're gonna be doing our channel art, our channel icon, our channel description, which will be under about here, and our channel links. So I'll walk you through all of that right now. First, we're gonna do the channel icon, which is this. So hover over your icon. This is kind of like your profile icon, and then click on the pencil. Now you're gonna get a notification here that says that your channel icon comes from your Google account. Changes may take a few minutes to show on your channel. If your YouTube channel is a personal YouTube channel, it's basically like your profile icon in YouTube is also gonna be your profile icon in Gmail and in Google Docs and stuff like that. So if you change it on here, it's gonna change throughout your Google account universally, right? If you had a brand account, it would be separate. But for this example, we're gonna upload a photo. So go ahead and click on upload photo. That'll open up your computer folders, locate your file. I have this channel icon test.jpg, and then I'm gonna hit choose. Now your channel icon is a square. It's gonna to format to a square no matter what file type, you know, whether you upload a landscape photo or portrait photo, uh, you can only crop this down to a square. So just wanna keep that in mind. And then the other thing is that for the most part, your channel icon, aside from on your YouTube channel itself, is going to display as a circle. 
So as you can see here, the profile icon is a circle. If you leave comments throughout YouTube, it's gonna show up as a circle. So that's just something to keep in mind that you know, if you have a logo or something for your business, you just wanna make sure that you're not cutting out any kind of vital, you know, vital pieces of information. So go ahead and crop accordingly. And when you're done, go ahead and hit done. And you'll see that your new channel icon is reflected in your Google account. If we go back to YouTube, you'll see that our channel icon is now displaying as our profile icon. And then if you click on that and go back to your channel, you'll see the profile icon right here. So now let's go ahead and add a channel art by clicking on customize channel again. And then we're gonna click on add channel art. And here you can select a file from your computer. So before I do that, I just wanna point out a few things. The recommended channel art size is 2560 by 1440 pixels. As you can see here, it displays that and your maximum file size is six megabytes. But depending on the device that a viewer is using to view your channel, your channel art is going to crop in a million different ways, which is really frustrating if you have key information on your channel art, like your upload schedule or you know the name of your business, a motto, a tagline, whatever, it, it might get cropped depending on the device. So here is a file that I created that shows you the size of the channel art, but then there's this blue box towards the middle that's 1546 pixels by 423 pixels. This is the safe zone, okay? I did a lot of testing here to make sure that regardless of what device someone is viewing your channel on, this middle section here will display no matter what. So basically the moral of the story is that if you have any pertinent information or you're actually designing a graphic that includes text on the photo or faces of your staff, you know, your face even, you wanna make sure that you're not gonna get cropped. So you want your face or any faces or any key information to be right in the middle, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and select my test banner here. Go ahead and open the file. And it'll show you a preview of how it's going to crop. So you can see on mobile, here's what it looks like on TV. And of course, here's what it looks like on desktop. If you need to adjust the crop, you can click on this. But for now, I think it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit select. And you'll see the new channel banner right there on the top and it looks great. Now, the other thing that we wanna do is update our channel description. So hover to the about tab and then here's where you'll have your channel description. So the other thing to keep in mind when you're setting up your YouTube channel is that people will usually discover you through one video, regardless of whether they find your video through the YouTube search bar, or maybe you've promoted this video on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Usually there's one video where someone will actually get to your channel and then before subscribing, people will peruse your channel. They'll click on your videos tab to see what other content you've created. But I know what I do as a viewer is I always go to the about tab and read the description from the creator to see what this channel is about, what kind of content can I expect, you know, what's their story, how can I connect with them. If I wanna go check out their Instagram or their Twitter account, that's what we're gonna add here. So your description is gonna play like a really big part on whether you actually convert viewers to subscribers. So make sure to take advantage of this vital real estate so I'm actually just gonna copy and paste the channel description from my current YouTube channel. I spent a lot of time writing this. So um, as you can see, th this tells you who I am and what you can expect from my channel. So this channel is here to help you transform your solopreneur story into a powerful online brand using new media and online video. Um, and then I go on to describe kind of the, the problems that a lot of my viewers will run into and then how I help them solve those problems. Um, I have my upload schedule here. So every Tuesday and Thursday, you'll get a new video. Uh, if people want to work with me beyond the YouTube channel, I link my website. And then I talk about my vlog channel and plug that in right here to talk about like my story and stuff. So why should someone subscribe to your channel? You wanna answer that question in here, okay? And then when you're done, of course, click on done.
And then add your contact email here if you want to. You can set your country location here, which I'm gonna do. And then your channel links, totally important. You know, if, if you're trying to promote a product or a service on your website or something like that, you definitely wanna put that here. So I'll go ahead and add my Instagram for now. Instagram.com, Heather just create. And then I'll also add uh, my website with me and I'll call it work with me. And then I'll hit done. So you can add up to five, I believe. Yeah, five. And then when you're finished, go ahead and click done. So it'll display your links here on your about tab, but you'll also see that on your channel banner, there's going to be thumbnails that actually lead straight to these links that you've included. So that's just another cool feature of YouTube. All right, back to our YouTube channel. So the final step in this process is to curate your homepage by creating playlists, okay? So right here, this is your homepage. It's totally blank right now because we, we don't have any videos. So that's why I left this step as the last one because you really do need a few videos in order to proceed because you can't really create playlists and curate your own content if you don't have any videos to do that with, right? So go ahead and make a few videos, but make sure to come back to this step because it really is a crucial step in getting people to navigate your content, to, to get them to stick around on your channel and become active subscribers and watch more of your content. So once you have a few videos, you wanna create a few playlists, okay? So you can organize your own content into specific playlists. Like for me, for example, I can have a separate playlist on YouTube. I can have a separate playlist for online video production. Uh, I have a separate playlist on videos about me. So you can create that here. You can title the playlist and then as you proceed, you can actually drag the videos that you created into these playlists. And then once you do that, go ahead and go back to the home page of your YouTube channel. And then you can add sections here. Um, you can select the playlist that you just created. So for example, if you have that, you know, for my YouTube playlist, all the videos that have to do with creating a YouTube channel, um, I would just click on find a playlist. Obviously right now it's blank because I haven't created that, but then I can select that here and what the viewer will see is my entire playlist on how to create a YouTube channel right here on the very top of my home page. So you can see like this part is so crucial in the process of getting someone to subscribe because again, they're they're gonna find your channel through one video, but when they peruse, when they go to your about section, when they go to your home page, you, you wanna take them, like walk them through the process of, hey, this is gonna be the content that you wanna watch first and then second and third. And then when you're done with that, you might wanna learn about this and et cetera. You can check out my YouTube channel as an example of this. So when you're done watching this video, just go to my YouTube channel and then see how I've curated my homepage. But that's definitely something that you'd, you wanna do with your own channel. So now that you have your YouTube channel all set up, if you have any other questions about YouTube, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget, if you wanna learn how to create and set up a YouTube brand account, you could check this video next. Catch you guys later, bye.